Hello everyone. I hope you're having a great Monday morning. My name is Jennifer Crable and I am the client care manager and educator of the brands EpiStep with the EpiPin Pro you might have heard of and Dr. Grandel, our German skincare line which we import for over 20 years and which I was working for in Germany for over five years as a representative. I'm also an esthetician in Germany since 2009 and in Florida and also in West Virginia. Now my career in the beauty industry started in the research and development of skincare ingredients and I'm super excited uh, to share with you some backstage and insider info today that will show black and white that skincare works. So today I decided to tell you a little bit more about matrix metalloproteinase which is a very important factor when it comes to wrinkles and I also want to share something about the power of a flower. So, matrix metalloproteinase are a group of zinc-dependent extracellular enzymes, aka matrixines or collagenase. They break down and remodel the matrix. There are three groups of those matrix enzymes. First of all, we have the collagenase, which cleaves structural collagen. We have gelatinase to degrade basement membrane collagen. And we also have stromlysins, which degrade um, basement membrane collagen and matrix glycoproteins. Basement membrane, if you're wondering and you don't know, it is a very thin membrane between the dermis and the epidermis. Now, metalloproteinase, and I will call it MMP for the rest of the presentation, if that's okay, those are produced by epithelial cells, fibroblasts, neutrophils, and also mast cells. They are regulated by gene expression, activation, and also so-called TIMS, which stands for tissue inhibitor metalloproteinase. MMPs are essential for wound healing because they remove debris from scars, they remove excess collagen, they facilitate epithelialization, which is the process of migration of epithelial cells to repair a wound. And if you have seen my presentation about skin immunity here um, in NASM Pro at one of the conferences or you read the article uh, in the NASM Pro magazine about it, uh, you know that those are also creating pathways for the Langerhans cells to reach the T cells. So the MMPs have a lot of beneficial properties, but when overexpressed, MMPs contribute to cancer progression by degrading extracellular matrix, by degrading basement membrane, and also by degrading ecaterines. Now those ecaterines are adhesion junctions. And I was also talking about adhesion junctions at the conference, um, but just to recap, adhesion junctions hold the keratinocytes together. So if everything gets out of whack and cells accumulate and arrange in clusters instead of lines, it's because um, adhesion junctions are not properly uh, or not strong enough. Now in these cases, when MMP is overexpressed, in, in, overexpressed you also also see low um, amounts of TIMS, which also again further increases the MMPs. Therefore, MMPs are one of the factors concentrated on to treat wrinkle formation, lack of elasticity, psoriasis, scarring, and also cancers. Now an overexpression, particularly of MMP1 and 2, and there are a bunch of others out there, but MMP1 and 2 are the ones that lead to atrophy of collagen and elastin in the skin. So here I just wanted to show you kind of how an MMP looks like. You have the so-called pro-MMP here on the left, which gets activated by zinc. And then the TIM comes over and inhibits the MMP so it's not overdoing its job. So what's triggering an overexpression of the MMPs? Here you can see ROS, which stands for radical oxygen species. For those of you who don't know what those are, uh, radical oxygen species are reactive molecules and free radicals derived from molecular oxygen. They are basically byproducts that are created during the electron transport in the mitochondria. And, um, but it's okay because we have a number of defense mechanisms to balance the production and removal of ROS. 
but if there is an imbalance, it will lead to oxidative stress. However, RS also play an important role in cell signaling. So MMPs are activated by RS, but also by interleukins, which are a group of cytokines. And cytokines, as you might know, are the gossip girls of our skin. They spread information everywhere and also to the MMPs. As mentioned before, MMPs communicate with inflammatory cells and they do this back and forth and support them with migration by taking collagen fibers apart. The other cells mentioned here are all related to our kidneys, which is out of our territory, so I will happily skip this part. Now, what is stimulating MMP1? We said RS and then interleukins, but another one is UVA radiation. And I will show you later a little bit more about that. Okay, so now you know controlling the MMPs, especially MMP1, is very important in skincare when it comes to reducing and preventing wrinkles. And I'm telling you this because, first of all, of course, it goes a little bit deeper into uh, the nitty-gritty of skincare and the neck of our woods, but also because there is a powerful flower that becomes a yummy fruit we all know uh, about, and that has proven to balance the MMP1 activity. It is pomegranate flower extract. And it's a superfood for a reason. Uh, it is packed with vitamin C. It is used as an astringent, antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral compound. It is known for its anti-collagenase, anti-elastase and antioxidant activity, and it also decreases um, aging-mediated undesirable skin changes. Isn't that a nice term? So this became my favorite way of describing matured skin. Aging-mediated undesirable skin changes. Love it. Okay, so it also has anti-inflammatory effects. It promotes wound healing and increases collagen turnover. It also protects our skin cells against UVA radiation. And here are all the effects that were proven that it has. So it inhibits production of MMP1. It promotes natural anti-aging potential and healing. It regenerates and has anti-inflammatory effects, which we mentioned before. It also fosters skin lighting and brightening. It increases skin density, uh, smooths the skin, uh, it reduces the appearance of wrinkles, and there are um, in vivo studies that show the actual improvement of wrinkles after four weeks of application. Okay, so here, I welcome you to, to the backstage info. Not many of estheticians seeing this because this is from the actual ingredient uh, developer. Okay, so here is the study that proved that pomegranate flower extract inhibits MMP1 when treated aged fibroblasts. And those aged fibroblasts are actually donated by a 60-year-old woman. Aged fibroblasts are called P17 and HDF here, and young fibroblasts are P7 and HDF over here. Now, young fibroblasts show 34% of MMP1 production, which is a very typical value. Aged fibroblasts treated with only 0.3% of the pomegranate flower extract for 27 hours show a 21% reduction of the MMP1 production compared to the untreated aged fibroblasts, which is really an amazing result. Okay, now in this test, it was proven that it inhibits UVA-induced MMP1 expression. Here you can see the more transparent colors are non-irradiated cells and the non-transparent colors are radiated cells. On the right, where it says PGEF, that's the pomegranate flower extract. Okay. So the results show that there was a 45% reduction of MMP1 expression in UVA irradiated dermal fibroblasts, which indicates the protection against photoaging and the 58% reduction of MMP1 expression in non-irradiated dermal fibroblasts indicates additional protection against chronological aging. Amazing. So we were also mentioning skin lightening effect, and this is pretty interesting as well. So here, 
uh, it was compared to kojic acid, hydroquinone, and resorcinol. A 55.8% of mellow induction was achieved using only 1% of the PGF and the culture media. So it shows comparable results to all the other benchmark substances that we really know well, but can become highly toxic in higher um, amounts. Okay, so the next one I wanted to show you is the test about skin density. Here, a cross-section of the skin taken from the forearm was treated with a cream with 1% PGF and was um, measured with the ultrasonic skin imagery machine. The more yellow areas you have, the more dense the skin. And you can see a significant increase in yellow areas already after just 28 days. So, conclusion, eat your palm grenade and slap it onto your face. Now, uh, you don't need to do that. Luckily, there are um, a lot of skincare companies out there that are using palm grenade flower extract. And today you have the chance to actually win some products with it. In the basket that you will get at the end of the day, you will find a Dr. Grandel Collagen Boost Ampule and also a vitamin infusion 24-hour care to try. You're already at the end of the presentation. I wish you good luck with winning the basket. There are so many incredible gifts in it. And I thank you a lot for being eager to learn more, to support NAS and Pro, and us educators by attending events like this or also the in-person conference. It's always great to connect with you in person, of course. If you have any questions, I'm always happy to assist. Um, so always feel free to reach out to me, please. Here are all the platforms I'm available at. And you can also reach me via text message, or if you're a little old school like me, you can just pick up the phone and call me. All right. I wish you an amazing week. I see you soon. And um, take care. Love what you're doing. Uh, be the, the passionate esthetician, and you will be successful. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.